Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. Now let's start. First let's shuffle the deck four times for you. I want to start with what happened first in the past, what were the challenges. It became clear that this connection it was not easy improved. It needed lots of hard work. Sometimes feeling alone, rejected, left out in the cold, not appreciated, not loved. There was confusion from one partner, maybe they were keeping their options opened in their mind. And what, and not being quite focused into this connection. That's why they, they were leaving a connection, uh, that did not have much love or the love was not mutual. Now let's see what is uh, affecting you in your subconscious that you may not be aware of. It's about communication. You may want to talk one day. You keep watching them with the intention to talk or to see if they have changed their mind or what thoughts and feelings they do have towards you. I see you being uh, uh, attached emotionally. It's not easy uh, for you to get detached completely. Now let's see about the current energies for you Taurus. You think a lot about communication. Yes, that was in your subconscious as well. Now you want a love message from them. But are they interested? Because they don't seem interested. You have this fear of rejection from them as well. From your perspective, the connection has not changed that much. It feels the same heavy relationship as it was in the past, but because of the feelings that you have, you want a better, fresh restart, but with love, a connection that has feelings and love in it, not that is uh, not mutual and not emotional. How do you view the situation? You think there's attraction still there, even after that painful ending? It may have caused uh, pessimism, but uh, you want to believe that the attraction may be a glue that can try to repair or fix this relationship and hopefully to build something stronger. So learning from the experiences, from th this experience of the past, learning from what didn't work out, maybe if you were back together now, uh, you'd be more uh, smart in order to save this connection. So that's how you view this. Now let's see more details. You want to avoid this lack of blockage in communication. Uh, things are not progressing. Things seem like are failing here and you want to avoid it. Your hope is that they will do something to work more uh, on that connection, to put more focus, dedication, to be a team with you, to work together, to fix this, to make it better. Now let's see about their energies uh, towards you at this moment. Let's shuffle this other deck. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Wands reversed. Ten of swords. And they do think a lot about you, but they do think a lot about you and they are very sad about that ending. They know for sure that that kind of ending was painful, hurtful. It was not deserved, deserved at all. After the breakup, they didn't want to wait anymore. 
but they had those periods where they were thinking about coming back, then they were very detached. I think uh, the urge for them to come back was the strong physical attraction towards you, but they didn't like uh, the anxiety and stress it caused them when they were dealing with the memories of the past. I see them feeling quite low, uh, depressed or very sad. They are not ready right now. That's what I'm getting. They are not ready. Uh, they are not sure if the connection would be strong, uh, if the connection would be stable, if the passion and attraction is mutual right now and strong enough to uh, get this connection back on track. Let's see one more card about what do they think. Yes, they feel so confused. They want to make a decision. For now, their decision is not to rush into an important decision. That is their decision. So wanting to postpone any commitment or coming back immediately. They are so confused and sad. Unsure. Not uh, not that kind of optimistic <coughs> about uh, the connection being stronger. <coughs> so that's what I'm getting. <coughs> Sorry for my voice. Apparently they don't see this connection being long-term and durable and resisting the pressure of time. So for now they are continuing to keep this distance. I will get in the extended with more details. I want to cover if they have any feelings or what kind of feelings do they have towards you? How do they view you from uh, the outside? What are their intentions for now? What about the mutual energies and the energies around each one of you? If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below this video. Or if you are watching this from your mobile phone, you can just click the title, the description box will expand and at the top you can find the extended link. Thank you for watching, see you in the next reading and bye for now.